My name is Stephen Miller. I'm 62 years old. My first time with weightlifting was just after my 62nd birthday. And I have done Nautilus and those kind of machine weights before, but I've never done barbell lifting. Well, there was a very important influence in my life, and that was my wife, because she started at this gym one year ago. She's got a great video on this, on reversing osteoporosis. So I've been hearing about the experience of coming to the gym and what she was doing and her progression and how it strengthened her. And she just really liked the community of the people at the gym and the experience of it. Uh, does this stress me or hurt me? No. Um, and my wife had said the same thing. It was surprising. She was expecting this to be hard on her knees and it turned out not to be. I have to say the people at the gym working with Sean and Marvin, they are very, very particular about the form and uh, they're very careful about uh, systematically increasing your weight. And I'm really surprised at uh, what was possible. I recall in particular when I started uh, six months ago, the first time I did a squat was with a um, 5 kg bar. I think in today's session we're set to do 80 kg for the squat. And I literally did not think it was ever possible to get up to that level. And steadily, 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 you're able to do it. And um, I look forward to it, look forward to the gradual increases. Yeah, I can definitely uh, tell some changes. I'd say the biggest change is this sense of strength. You know, I'm not doing it for bodybuilding at all. I'm doing it for strengthening and overall health. And uh, it's, it's helped in a lot of ways. I think it helps with sleep quality and just literally a head to toe uh, good feeling. You know, there are a lot of things involved in health, so you've got to be careful about uh, sort of incidental attributions like that. I think overall, my sense of balance is um, better. So things that help you with balance, things that help you with muscle strengthening, uh, from what I understand from talking to medical professionals and reading, is uh, something very important to do and something very helpful. Now, unmistakably, if you're aging, so here I am, I'm 62, this is a really important thing to do. We just had some time a few weeks ago where we happened to travel in the United States and we got to spend some time with a family friend who's been a cardiologist for 40 some years. And this guy walks and exercises all the time. You know, I asked him about his his particular views about exercising on cardio versus muscle strengthening. And this one doctor says, well, at your age, the highest priority is muscle strengthening. And anything you can do to, uh, to, to help uh, create muscle and um, retain muscle strength, um, highest priority. Now, if you want to add that and on top of that, add cardio, even more wonderful. But do what you can do to build the musculature. Uh, and I've spoken to some other people, getting, you know, feedback from other medical people. The same issue comes back when you get to be older, anything you can do to retain and strengthen your muscle structure is going to help you in big ways. So I uh, strongly recommend it. And especially for people in your 40s, your 50s, and even if you're in your 60s, you can do this. You can start. You'll start very humbly. And if you have good trainers, when you progress, you will be able to do it and you'll feel your body getting stronger, stronger and stronger. Can you do chin-ups? Can I do chin-ups? I can do chin-ups. I'm the gym chin-up champ. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I've been able to do a few chin-ups. I was able to work up to, believe it or not, 15, I think once I did 16 chin-ups and then they started to add a weight belt. So the last time I did this the other day, I was wearing 12 and a half kg of weights and I was able to get nine chin-ups. 
And my goal is to get that 10th chin up with the 12 and a half kg weights. So I will keep at it till I can get that 10th chin up.